I'm feeling dead inside. Need some place to run and hide. He's feeling dead inside. Need some place to run and hide. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's it, the after. I don't want it. Welcome to the Vinyl Files, everybody. My name is James Lundquist, and today is the day after Thanksgiving. Turkey hangover, turkey coma, whatever you want to call it. I feel like the blood in my body has been replaced with gravy. Uh, I feel sore. I don't know why. I think I'm just getting old. 26 going on 90. What comes at 90? Death. Today we're taking a look at an album that I'm very excited about. I've danced around this band for a long time, but I haven't started necessarily buying their records or really getting into them. Today we're talking about Scream Bloody Gore by Def. Boy, if that doesn't get you in the holiday spirit, I don't know what will. My lens is dirty. This is generally accepted as the first death metal album. It's very hard in music to say who exactly started what, whether it comes to hip hop or rock or blues or jazz or country or whatever, it's hard to be able to pinpoint exactly when a genre was birthed. Um, there's some debate, uh, Seven Churches by Possessed, some people consider that to be, although that is a little bit more like it's, it's a lot more thrashy. This has a lot more of the now stereotypical signs of death metal with like uh, getting into some of the track names here with like B horror movies. When I think death metal, especially, I mean some of death, but most like all of Cannibal Corpse's career, I think B horror, I think Saturdays on the sci-fi channel and it's like gut punchers to blood for money or whatever, but with songs like Zombie Ritual, Denial of Life. Hello sir, I'd like to apply for a license to live. Oh, you must remain dead. Okay. Mutilation, regurgitated guts. I wonder if I, sh if that would have helped me feel better today. Just regurgitate my guts. Baptized in blood, torn to pieces, evil dead, and uh, scream bloody gore. Like some of these, uh, they're, they're horror movie names. This, this is an interesting album for a lot of reasons. One, it's very good. Two, Chuck Schneidler? Schneidler? Schulander. Schneidler. Chuck Schnoobly Dubes. He was also known as Evil Chuck. I'm gonna call him Evil Chuck. Being the only um, constant member throughout Death's career. He played guitar on this album. He played bass on this album. He did the vocals on this album. And he wrote everything. So this is essentially an album filled with Chuck Schnugler and Chris Refart. Furt Refart. I'm trying. This is the insert that comes with it. It's got all of the lyrics and you know, a couple photos. We got Chuck Schneebledeebel and the drummer. <laughs> it's a cool band, man. They come from the death place of the death place of birth metal, the birthplace of death metal, which is Florida. Of course, it's Florida. Why wouldn't it possibly be Florida? So, out, out through their career, yeah. Obviously, lineup changes. Chuck, uh, unbelie uh, unbelievable musician. Um, and let's get into it. This is the Custom Butterfly with Splatter Vinyl, repressed in 2016. My goodness, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? American. Red, white, and blue. Sounds absolutely amazing. It's, it's a great album. I hope we see a repress of Symbolic soon. I got this at Cheapo Records in Minneapolis, Minnesota. They had a few other of their records, like Spiritual Healing or Leprosy. Um, you know, buy the album. It's, it's very good. Uh, unfortunately, Chuck passed away in 2001. Uh, believe, I believe it was cancer. So, I mean, the band is not around, but their impact on music, and especially like metal music, and very specifically death metal music, is uh, it, it, it's hard to like it, it's hard to really speak as to what it was because it was just so big it, they shaped the genre so pick up this album check out death thank you so much for watching this video i have new videos coming out every saturday uh, so go ahead and hit subscribe so that you don't miss them go ahead and comment tell me what records i should check out hit the like button it's easy it's just whoop Beep, we did it together. If you know someone who's a big record collector and obsesses about it like I do, show them the channel and we'll have a merry old time together. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.